in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my gaming setup because this was requested in any of my previous videos, so I decided I might as well do it because I thought about it before, but then my setup kind of got to a stage where I would like to show it off. Well, not really show it off because I don't have much, but I'd like to, like to show you what I play with. So, let's get into that. I hope you enjoy. So, here it is, my gaming setup. And I just want to say, for the purpose I use it for and the age I am, this is not too bad. I can't even deny it. 3 4k monitors set up in a fancy PC and all that, but I didn't need to have because I'm only young and I wouldn't use it anyway because my Wi Fi is too bad. So, anyway, let's get into this. So, we'll start off here with my cheer. I've got just, I think it's just like an Amazon basic cheer to be honest because I was wanting originally to buy like a DX racing cheer or a GT Omega cheer, but then I realised fit is a point I'm paying £200 for a cheer and I think I could get this in for literally half the price. And this is our, I've only had this for about two weeks or maybe a week or something, but the quality of this cheer is amazing. It, it really feels really good and it wasn't even that hard to set up. Um, you did have to build it yourself. It did take quite a while, but that was my fault, made the cheer's fault. But anyway, it's a really good cheer, kind of complain about it. Moving on to my wheel, which I did a review on a 4. This is my Thrustmaster Ferrari 458 Spider Racing Wheel. And <coughs> it's just a stereotypical 4 Xbox One wheel. Bounce back. And uh, no vibrations though coming from it, and we've got my pedals doing there. And I this is just I used to play Forza on which brings one to my TV. So it's my TV, it's I think it's just like an Alba thing. I got it when I was like 10 year old or something, but I've just never wanted to get rid of it because and I need to because it's what 1080p 60 hertz. I kind of complain about it, it does all things perfectly, it runs Xbox and best Xbox One can do. So I kind of complain, and it's 24 inch, it's not that big, but. It could be bigger for uses, but the size of my desk is that I play on. It's kind of really be up bigger if I'm going to keep my laptop here, which I'll move on to next. So it's not that bad. So here we've got my HP laptop. I'm not really sure the specs of it, or because I'm not a kind of PC person. So I just got it to do some things on, but I've had a few problems with it since I got it. I got it in like New Year's Day or something. And a few problems um, with it, so I had to reset it. So I knew I've only got Sony Vegas Pro 14 on it instead of other things, but look at my. Sexy background of GTRs. Also, I've got a sticker of a BMW Z4 or something on LBMW or my camera just because I'm paranoid about somebody hacking my computer or something or seeing the camera and plus I just didn't like a camera being there all the time. So, I, I've got just a sticker cover now, it's just a personal thing. But anyway, I've got my Xbox controller here, my TV controller. We'll move on to the Xbox stuff doing here in a minute. But here we've got my kind of just a theme bit of the setup which is cars because obviously I love cars so. I'll just get a quick run through. We've got my a Porsche GT3 RS remote control car here, just plunked there, next to some kind of F1 car. I've got my models here, an Eddie Stobart Larry, Mark 1 Escort, Jag E Type, Aston Martin DB5. We've got a few models here, like a pack of Mustangs, different generation Mustangs. We've got my Lamborghini Centenario Faith Forge Rising 3 release. We've got a 2012 GT, wait, maybe it's 29. And again, I think that's maybe, uh, I'm not sure, it's a GTR anyway, R35. We've got a V12 Vantage Air, and I. And here we've got my, a clock, which I got this like quite a while ago now. I think maybe when I was around 10 and a half, where I was really into cars that much. And I, this is my clock. <laughs> it doesn't actually have any batteries in it, because when I'm making videos and stuff, it ticking gets quite annoying. But it's cool because it's a rim, and I can't show you because it doesn't have a battery in it, obviously, but there's like. I run here, there's like neon lights that light up and it is really cool from its own. But aye, that's tidy. In here I've got a calendar of classic cars. So here in February I've got an Alfa Romeo Spider. We've got another calendar here with a February is a Lamborghini Aventador SV. There's quite a lot of good cars on this, such as like F types and that kind of thing. So aye, that's good. Moving on here we've got my 20,000 mAh power brick, which is really good. It was quite cheap actually, only like £30, but it does forever, which is really good. We've got my UE Boom 2 speaker, which is an, another amazing purchase that I made. 360 amazing quality speaker, kind of complain about that either. Here I've got my mouse for my laptop, I've got a pen drive, which I keep YouTube videos on. Here I've got like a pendulum, no, I actually came for its card. Wait, I didn't work. But the game's like that, but I'll stop that because that'll get annoying. So we'll move on to here now before we've got my headset, which and this is the first ever headset I ever bought for Xbox. It's actually for Xbox 360. If I move to one instead of being instead of upgrading it because I'm a little grippy child, so I thought I would just maybe buy an adapter and use exactly the same mean, which are nearly supposed to do. 
Oh well, I'm not paying an extra money to get it. And here I've just got my standard DVDs and game stuff. I've actually got all DS games in here for some reason that I'd probably never played. But anyway, I've got a pickle my Xbox games there, pickle DVDs, like cars and stuff, because you can never beat cars. I've got a pickle wires in there, just things I've made, socket things. And anyway, moving on to doing here now. So here we've got my Xbox One, standard Xbox One, 2016 edition, I think. And here we've got my Seagate hard drive, which is a one terabyte hard drive, and it's because it's just a 500 gig Xbox, so it doesn't have much space on it, and I needed a new one, so I just got a bit of blue tag here, stuck it for going to boot out of the place, and I just sit on that my Xbox plugged in, that's for most of my games, like my Halo and stuff games, because they're huge games, but like some games, like my Forge, I on my Xbox, just in case something did happen, which just about did happen, and I'm glad it didn't. So doing here again, we've got my Xbox One box, we've got a few wires in there, just 360 wires and adapter cables, buckled chargers and wires going up here, like... In here I've got my light socket going up and my um, laptop charger going up. And I forgot to say that, I've got it's just desk light, this is just another light I got a really long time ago. And I kind of complain, it's a good light. It just, I want it to do lights up. But anyway, moving on again, doing to the very bottom. This is for other wires and mess kind of games. We've just got an adapter, four socket adapter at the wall. And that's just for like, my speaker plug in, which I'll show you in my... My Xbox speaker plugs in and my TV plugs in, Xbox and all that kind of thing. It's just so we've got an iron. So around the back of the TV, we've got a set of Philips headphones, which I also got a long time ago. I think they were like maybe 2009 or something, and I was really young. But the quality on them is still amazing. If I ever get on Forza, listen to the pure noise of a car, that's the headphones I use, because the quality they pump out is really good. We've got a pickle notes here, like just a pickle things to mine, such as... There's a few things from a farm simulator parks and a few Forza car ideas for me to do and stuff. And here we've got my speaker for my Xbox, which is looking at something also. I just realised that a lot of things in my setup are things I got a while ago, but I did guess. I think I got this along with when I got this TV actually. But I got this as a radio, and I never, I don't really think I've used, really used it as a radio because I've just got plugged in by a AUX cable here and my TV, and then. I get a bit of find a hole now. That's not it. That's it. I plugged in a speaker and it just pumps it quality and it's got quite a lot of dust on it. Same with TV, got quite a lot of dust, but I next thing I need to be cleaning a NM doer. And oh yeah, I didn't need to ever touch that because it's just the right thing. If I want to change the volume, then I'll just use the TV remote. So that's art. And then I think that's just about it. Oh, but we'll, we'll move on to the final thing, which is my pride and joy. <coughs> Sorry. My number plate. So I asked for my birthday a number plate, which is the number plate that I have in Forza, RR55IRN. I love it, it just, it just, to me, completes it off, and I was going to get something else in this wah here, because they're like, a pickle of Lamborghini posters there, but they were getting really scabby, so I took them down, but I was going to get something else, like maybe a canvas or Lamborghini, which I might do in future, but that's just blue tacked on just now, it's near permanently, but I, I'm really loving it, I kind of complain. So, I think we'll end off this video here. I think that's all I think I've probably missed two buckle things, but if I have just leave a comment. So anyway, um I want to thank you very much for watching and as I said I can't it's not professional. Um but I um just I didn't need it to be any more. By the way, I just forgot to say now, the reason this thing's here is just because like if I want to put like my phone or anything up on air to like FaceTime somebody or whatever, then that's what I use that for. So anyway, um I want to thank you very much for watching and for me and the setup you're supposed to usually say a car error, but oh well. For me and the setup, 10-4.